The song and dance of Oklahoma appearing at the Muni. This is it. It ends Sunday night, the 97th season of the Muni. You blink your eyes and it's over with. It's finishing up with Oklahoma. The weather is going to be beautiful this weekend. We welcome April Strellinger. Close enough? Close enough. Strellinger. Strellinger. I butchered the G. (laughs) Uh, She is a cast member of Oklahoma. You grew up in St. Louis. I did. Where'd you go to high school? I went to Incarnate Word Academy. You moved away. I moved away. Became a big star on Broadway. Oh, yes. Giant star. (laughs) Giant. You married a man... He, was he from, from St. Louis? here as well, yes. Did you he meet w- him in New York? Uh, no, he was in London when I was in New York. Hmm, and uh, really? we both moved back here. And he went to Clayton High School. Mm-hmm. And, a little bit of a rivalry. Uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's right. I didn't know Incarnate Word and uh, Clayton High Schools talk to each other. But that's we, we seem to be growing, I guess. <laughs> well, luckily, we were in our 20s. We were out of high school oh, at that okay. point. Oh, okay. All right. That's all right. right. All right. Uh, and then you've moved back how long ago? 10 years ago? I moved back, yep. And so you're still keeping very much active in the acting world, clearly. I am. Yeah, I yeah. pray every year that I'm as active <laughs> here in St. Louis. So being a St. Louis girl, now appearing at the Muni has got to be a special treat for you. It's super fantastic. Yeah. I think um, one of my earliest memories was when I was probably three or four, and my grandpa took me to see Carousel mm. in the free seats. Mm-hmm. Which I'm sure was riveting for a four year old, you know, to, to watch it from the free seats. But, you know, that made such an impact. And so it's really cool now to actually be on the other side of the stage and, yeah. and watching that sea of people and hoping that I'm impacting other three and four yeah. year old little girls too. Is this, your, uh, is this your first time at the Muni? It's not. It's not. This Wh- is my fifth show. Oh, nice. Were you ever a Muni kid? I was a Muni teen for uh, a moment, a flash in the pan. Um, but, but I'm really super happy to be a Muni adult. Okay. <laughs> I was on the stage maybe, maybe last summer and I walked up from backstage and up onto the stage and it took my breath away and I'm just, I've just been, you know, there as a, as a patron, as a guest. That's a pretty impressive stage for an actor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. And there's a certain energy to it too, which is really cool. Like I compare it to an ocean, whereas like that huge sea of audience has a whole energy onto itself. So you just kind of have to hop the wave and, and yeah. ride along. It's really cool. Uh, Oklahoma, one of those great classic uh, musicals. If you don't know it, you, you if you think you don't know it, you know it, even though you don't know it. Correct. All those songs. Oh, wait, this song. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, that, that song. Quickly, give, give, give people the sort of synopsis of Oklahoma. Um, well, it happens um, in the early turn of the, of the century, and it's in Oklahoma territory before Oklahoma becomes a state, and it's just sort of a really great story of the people that started that territory and it's a love story and it's funny and um, our director Rob Ruggiero is amazing and he brings this really cool reality it's it's not a cartoon depiction of Oklahoma mm-hmm. it's it's real real people and it there's truth behind it do, and you, do you have a problem being a, a Missouri girl playing in Oklahoma uh you know I am an actor for a living okay. so, so I'm so really can... good at uh, <laughs> like she can putting play aside role. your differences <laughs> okay although there enough. is something about um one somebody says why don't you go back to Missouri you dirt scratcher and he's talking to the to the farmers and I will say like every night I hear that it does hurt my heart just to see <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to go hey wait hey, a minute wait we're in Missouri those big A ties run deep. That's those, right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, so uh, the um, w- anything special happening this this weekend for the end run? Do you do anything special or Sunday night? You say so long, goodbye. We'll see you next year. Well, in wonderful Muni tradition, every last show, um, all the Muni kids and teen parents come and throw a huge party for us Mm. and um, it's super special and it's a really great send off for the out of towners and it sort of puts a nice bow on it Um, there's this really awesome guy that brews beer in honor of every show so there's like a, a show beer um, which is which I look forward to. Uh, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> That's always good. Being a St. Louisan, mm-hmm. living in New York. Yes. What do New Yorkers and New York actors and actresses think when you say the Muni? How well known is it out there? I, the Muni is very iconic. I mean, it is it is prestigious, and I was shocked 
knowing, learning that people actually knew what the Muni was and that people wanted to work at the Muni. And I think that's very evident with the caliber of talent that the Muni gets every year, you know, that there are these amazing, amazing, well-known actors that mm. want to come to you, our little town and perform. You also <laughs> have to sort of navigate backstage all the Tonys, right? You sort of have to walk That's around right. all the That's Tonys right. they have back there. That's right. Mike Isaacson has has quite a supply of them. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you open up his closet and they, they all come, fall, come they tumbling fall out. down. They fall out. They so, really need to fix that. You mentioned you have a little one. I do. He or she, he? boy or girl. Does he... Has he seen you on the Muni stage? Yes, he has. Um, he will be seeing Oklahoma um, later in the week. But yes, he lives for watching the Muni. And I think that that's really awesome. It is. April yeah. Strellinger. Yes. Thank Marvelous. you. Marvelous. The Muni, she uh, is uh, starring in Oklahoma tonight, Saturday, and Sunday. That's it. That's it for the 97th season. So I recommend uh, muni.org, 314-361-1900. Or the best bet is just go up to the gate and say, I need two tickets for tonight, and they'll make sure uh, you get in. What's your favorite uh, Ted Drews of choice after the Muni? Um, I, surprisingly, I actually really love the Muni Mocha. It is my favorite thing. I know. I Isn't that crazy? Muni, the Muni Mocha. The Muni never, Mocha. I didn't All know right, there this was interview's a Muni over mocha. with. <laughs> you're supposed to say the Macron. <laughs> no, you're not. I no, mean, no, no, no. The Macron. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Muni.org, 314 361 1900, Oklahoma. This is it. Uh, if you missed it, um, the season, shame on you. Bring a friend. Uh, bring the parents, the grandparents, the grandkids. They'll have a great time. The 97th season of the Muni ends this week. You can never too early to start thinking about tickets for uh, next year. Um, and the weather's going to be great, so don't miss it. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. You got it. 851 here, Big 550 KTRS.